I'm tired. Ooh, a little pregnant emoji. Stop. This is unhinged. It's always unhinged over here. Like somebody give me a hinge and some WD-40. <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair and face and attitude. And guess what? I'm back for another get ready with me. When's the last time I did a get ready with me? I don't know. I don't feel like it's been that long, but it's been long enough, girl. We haven't chatted in a full minute. So, so for this get ready with me, y'all already know my get ready with me's are, it's basically an overhaul, girl. It's a transformation. I go from looking, at it, looking like this to this. It's a big jump. So for this get ready with me, we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be featuring some beautiful hair. I'm also I'm gonna do a really nice summertime, springtime, no foundation look, and that's this face right here. And we also are gonna chat. Um, but before we get into that, before we get into the girl chat, and the makeup and all that type of stuff. Of course, we need to get into this hair. I wanna say thank you to Jessie's wig for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. And like, look at that hairline. This is not a lace frontal wig, but this is like a closure, kinky hairline wig. Like, I've never seen anything like it before. And the curls are just stunning. Like, ugh, I'm just in love with it. If you wanna see everything that I did to customize this wig, get more details on this wig, please keep on watching. And then after that, we'll get into the chat and the face. So your wig is gonna come in the Jessie's wig box. And inside that box, of course, you receive your wig, but you also receive other gifts. Now they sent me some gifts. I'm not sure these are the gifts that you'll receive, but these are the gifts that I received. I received a makeup sponge that I actually use later, a wig storage bag, some travel makeup brushes, and a elastic band. And of course, we have lashes and the wig cap. Now, as for the wig, this is the gorgeous wig. This wig is the curly closure wig. It has a kinky hairline on the four by four closure. It is 180% density. Inside the cap is three combs, adjustable straps in the back, and it comes with a piano key elastic band. So you can wear this wig glueless. This is what the wig looks like right out of the pack. You can see that the hairline is giving very much swirl and curl. And I decided that I needed to bleach the knots on this wig and we washed the wig. And as you can see, the kinky hairline came through. I didn't expect the curls to come through like that, but baby. So the one thing with me with kinky edge wigs, I do not like to straighten it. I just like to blend the hair. So I will lower the heat on my hot comb to the lowest heat just to blend it into the hairline. So I wanna keep the natural texture on the hairline so it looks like my hair like it's growing out of my scalp so what we're going to do next is layer this hair just a little bit because i felt like the front could be a little bit too long so i'm just trimming the ends a little bit off the front i'm not trying to do too much like i'm not trying to you know really like cut it you know what i'm saying i'm just trying to like shift it a little bit <laughs> so next we're gonna go ahead and use our mousse i mix my mousse def mousse and my shea moisture coconut and hibiscus frizz free curl mousse because girl i ran out of mousse so i'm gonna have to um wing it and be resourceful so what i'm gonna do is add a little bit of mousse to the ends of the hair usually i like to saturate the whole wig but i'm gonna add some mousse and comb through the hair using my Evolve 572 brush and clump together the curls on the end. This is like my little trick if I'm rushing or if I don't have enough mousse, I will just moisturize the ends of my wig at the back and then in the front, I will douse the hair in the mousse because that's how you get the best curl, if you know what I mean. So girl, I had to ration this stuff out. So I comb through the ends and as you can see, the ends started to get more of a natural curl. Now, if I was able to do this whole entire wig, baby, these curls would be popping, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So this is a quick way to get the same look without having to do as much work. So I, of course, doused it more of the front. So once we got to the front of the head, I made sure I got the face framing curls and I combed through it and clumped all the curls together. It, does that make, is it making sense? I hope it's making sense. It's, I want to make the curls look more defined in the front. I feel like that's the way I should have said it. <laughs> I don't know why I made it so hard, friend. So we continue to do that and brush through the curls and make sure they're all clumped together and they looked good on both sides. And when I comb through these curls, I use the Evolve 572 brush because it clumps them together and I let them stay clumped until the hair is fully dry and then I separate the curls. It's a really, really important step. Don't separate the curls 
before they're clumped because then it'll be like frizzy. So I just continue to comb through the curls until we're done, girl. Now we're just gonna go ahead and take our diffuser from um, Dyson and we're just going to dry off the curls. I actually let this hair dry overnight. So I don't even know why I did all this, girl. I was supposed to record this the same day, but I got tired. <laughs> so I let the curls dry completely and this is what my base looks like so i left a little girl it's a little fuzzy in the front but there's a little bit of there's a reason for that so we just put on our wig grip our wig cap and we're just gonna pop on our wig and as you can see i like to leave i wanted to leave a little bit of my edges out because my natural hair looks like the kiki curly edges at the top so i wanted to like make it look seamless so before we apply the wig of course i'm just going to go ahead and cut off the lace this is hd lace so i didn't even have to tint it so uh, girls are risk because sometimes I say HD and it's not HD, but this is what it looked like before applying the um, even spray, but I'm going to use the even spray to melt down this wig. Now you can do this glueless, but I feel like some HD lace don't give HD until I apply it. And this one looked better once it was applied with a spray. So I just lay it down and make sure it's fully applied and, applied and sticky. And I kind of rubbed some of the spray into the hairline just to kind of lay some of them edges back a little bit because I didn't flatten it at all. So y'all see what that hairline looks like? Like it's it, it's looking like my hair, okay? No baby hairs, no nothing. Like you can pull this hair back and it look like, girl, you just worked out. Like it's giving very much natural. So what I wanted to do was melt this hairline a little bit. So. We're just gonna let this sit on the head. I think I let it sit for maybe 10 minutes or so. Um, and now we're just fluffing out the curls while this hairline melts in. And as, I, you, as you can see, these curls are fluffing free. And you can't even tell that I didn't do the whole entire head. You just gotta do the most, imp most important parts and that's it. So, like I said, we let it sit for 10 minutes. I didn't let y'all know I bleached the knots, and girl, I over bleached the heck out of these knots. I don't know what was going on. I was doing something and I get distracted. So, I had to use some mascara to um, fix those bleached knots. And I also had to use my stick foundation to define the part once again and have it blend into my skin. So, I'm also going to take my edge control the she is bomb edge control to lay down my baby hairs and first i was just going to do my natural baby hairs but i wanted to see what it would look like with faux baby hairs but look at those curls friend like look at that hairline like really you wouldn't be able to tell unless you was in my face and you could smell my breath basically girl <laughs> if you was too close that's the only way you could tell now for me the next thing I wanted to do was lay down the natural baby hairs. And as you can see, I love how the baby hairs looks like my hair. Like, it's a similar texture. So I did the same thing on the other side. And once I laid it down, girl, I was I was impressed. Now you can do this, you because this hairline has a kinky hairline, you can wear it with the baby hairs or without the baby hairs. I think I prefer it with the baby hairs, but you tell me what you think. Now look at these curls, they look absolutely gorgeous. The hair is fluffy, the curls are popping. It looks so good. And I want to say thank you to Jesse's wig for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. I will leave a link for the wig down below as well as the coupon code. So check it out. Get some money off. Y'all tell me what you think about this wig down below. Next, we're going to go ahead and get into the face. We're going to do a nice natural look to match this very, very, very natural wig. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with the face. Man, I feel like it's been a minute since I did a get ready with me. Like, it's been a whole minute. My hands are actually, let me grab the lotion. I got a cute little lotion thing back here. I feel like such a lady. Let's go ahead and get into this makeup and let's talk about our 30s. I feel like I want to talk about that today because I don't know. <laughs> I think I want advice or I don't know. Girl, we just gonna talk. We're gonna have girl talk today. I always say I'm not gonna do um, foundation. And then I end up kind of doing foundation. I'm not sure. I have some like, um, some reason I'm like really rough around my mouth. So I have some uh, lighter areas around my mouth. It's so annoying. We can cover it up or something, but y'all see it's like light areas right there around my mouth. Cause I scrape the skin off my face. It is so weird. I'm gonna start with the same primer that I always use. I like the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh. 
for my hyperpigmentation areas, I think I'm gonna use the stick foundation around my mouth and I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown stick foundation. And I didn't buy no new makeup, y'all. I feel like the girls be acting like Mac's not that girl, but Mac is still that girl. I don't care what makeup come out, Mac is still my girl. So I'm gonna use Mac to highlight and then maybe just a little bit of bronzer. Let's go ahead and start with the Bobbi Brown stick foundation, the warm walnut color. So let's catch up. I don't know if y'all saw my vacation vlog. I just posted it today, the same day that I'm filming this video. I posted it late, but uh, um, yes, yeah, so we just got back from vacation and baby, post vacation dumps is like a real thing, especially since the way I ended my trip where I got, I don't know if it's food poisoning or whatever, but I didn't feel well. I threw up the last day of the trip. No, I'm not pregnant. Can I tell y'all something? Could you please? I'd be so scared to say I feel sick or I threw up or um, I'm not drinking because I feel like somebody's going to tell me, ask me if I'm pregnant. Or if I say like I'm bloated, girl, I'm bloated like literally at least 70% of the day. I know it's not, I know people don't mean any harm, but like it makes me scared to say anything's happening with my body. Like anything. Like if I say, girl, I'm, I'm tired. Ooh, a little pregnant emoji, stop. So after the vacation, I was just was like in the dumps. Like I was really not feeling, you know, I wasn't feeling too good. I'm not feeling too good. I just was a little bit low. You know, that trip, although it was really, really relaxing, I feel like we need another one. <laughs> I feel like after a trip, it, it makes you want to go on more trips. Do y'all feel like that? Because that's how I feel. Y'all see how that's so much better? I feel like that's so much better. I love that. I'm going to do a little bit of concealer. I'm going to use the MAC NC45. Everybody's concealer color. I feel like they give this concealer to everybody. If they don't know your skin tone. I think this is my concealer color. I don't know, but this is the uh, 24 hour Mac Studio Fix concealer. I love this stuff. Like, prolonged wear is one of my favorites. But, anyways, yeah, so I got back and I'm like, oof, girl. But we're supposed to be planning another trip um, for my birthday, baby. I'm gonna be 36. I know that's not old, but I just don't, you know, time passes so fast. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking 36, girl. When did that happen? I feel great. I'm the happiest I've ever been. I also am like more, um, I don't know if I would say reflective or more, I'm the happiest I've ever been, but I feel like I'm more, uh, I'm not in la la land like I used to be. Like now I feel like I'm rooted in reality. In my, like after being in my mid thirties, like I know where I am. I know where, I know what I need to work on personally. I feel like now I am fully aware or starting to, I'm open to be more aware and honest with myself about my flaws, um, about my relationships, what I think, things I need to change, all that type of stuff. So 30s is the best time. I feel like it's the best time of my life. I would not go back to 20s ever. I said that before, but oh my God. 20s was cute, but I was broke and confused. We're gonna go ahead and blend this out. Usually I like it, I got, I got a drooling problem. Usually I like it to sit a little bit longer. Yeah, I mean so much has, like my 30s has been like a whirlwind. I quit my job. I got married at 29. So like I walked into my 30s, married. Now it's just like, I'm getting used to this new reality though. Like I'm gonna blend all of this out. Being in my 30s, I think I talked to my therapist a while ago. I actually need to go back and find a new therapist. I don't really, that therapist was good, but she didn't fit my needs. Um, exactly, but she was good at what she did for the moment. But um, 30s is completely different with like friendships. And that's the one thing I've been struggling with is not because I have people that I love and care for, but everybody's so busy like people have husbands and families or partners and families and like you know people have like such busy lives like cultivating and taking the time to cultivate a friendship with a person a new person or someone that you already have a relationship with is completely different it's just different 
Like you're, you're embalming like kids and spouses or partners. Like before it just used to be you and that person. And now it's like everybody's trying to get their schedule together. So I am at this age, I know it's so weird, but like, um, in my thirties, I'm trying to learn how to navigate that. And I have to be honest, I've never been really great at communicating in friendships. And I, that's definitely something I need to work on because girl, I ain't gonna have no friends <laughs> if I keep going this way. But yeah, girl, I'm the happiest I've ever been. <laughs> how about y'all? How are your thirties or how was your thirties? Are you looking forward to your thirties if you're not there yet? Please let me know. I think this is probably too light. I don't know why I'm using this. It's probably too light, but I'll be able to blend it out. I'm not worried about it. I'm doing some reverse contouring or reverse bronzing, whatever you want to call it. It's gonna blend that out. Oh, the skin is skinning. But vacation was fun. I enjoyed it. I just want a um, more relaxing vacation. A little bit more of, cause we did too much this vacation. Even though it was fun, we did too much. So we was running around a lot. And I wanna go on a vacation where I do nothing. Like, have you ever done that? Like, I don't wanna do nothing. I wanna eat, I wanna sleep. I wanna lay on a beach, but I like physically don't wanna do anything. I think I wanna go to Miami, I don't know. We do have a couple places in mind, but y'all let me know some good restful places that y'all have been to. Okay, I wanna be a rock. I never wanna be a rock so bad ever in my life. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder to go ahead and set the face. And I'm gonna use the same sponge, girl. Y'all know I'm a one sponge girly. So I'm gonna take this and set under the eye. But I wanted to do like things I've learned in my 30s video, but y'all know, I don't know if I have like a, um, like a detachment issue, but I literally felt like, girl, I didn't learn nothing. <laughs> I feel like I, I did answer some questions or not answer questions, but I think I said something about things I learned in my twenties, but I feel like I don't be learning that much. I still feel like not a child, but girl, I feel like I don't know nothing. I feel like I'm seeing the world for the first time every day. Like, I don't even know. I don't feel equipped to give nobody advice. <laughs> I feel like I'm the wrong girl because I'm just as lost as you are, girl. I just feel like I, I'm weird about giving advice to people because I feel like my life is different than your life. So my advice may be terrible for you. And I definitely don't give relationship advice. Definitely don't give relationship advice because the type of relationship I want and love and you know that's perfect for me may not be one for you so I don't even know why am I giving you advice girl I'm about to use these little brushes they gave me because y'all know all my brushes are dirty and when they send me brushes I'm gonna use them but this is like oh girl the, the bristles is falling out I wonder if I can use it anyways because I kind of want to use this bronzer oh girl it's too dense can I use a sponge Actually, let me put on some stick blush because I need color on the face. So I'm gonna use some stick blush. Can you use cream blush over powder? I think you can. And I'm gonna use, oh, I wanna do, I think Desi Perkins or somebody did some sort of method where they did like, brown, like on the lower part. Okay, so I'm gonna use the NYX Wonder Stick. There are two sides to it, right? And she used two colors. Let me see if I can do it like her. She used a deeper blush. So this one is a deep peach. And then we have curl, which is, which is lighter. So I'm going to use, girl, this is probably a bad idea. Because this is putting it over powder. I feel like this is a bad idea. I'm going to end up with two circles on my face. And that's the makeup look, so. And then I'm going to use, oh. Y'all know I'm unhinged. Girl, there's hair all over my blush now. This is unhinged. It's always unhinged over here. Like somebody give me a hinge and some WD-40. <laughs> and then she said, take like the lighter peach and put like the lighter color and put it on your eye. I think I put it too high in the first place. At this point, I feel like I'm about to look crazy. But girl, I'm at the house, so who cares? So let's blend this together. Oh girl, I didn't do nothing. Oh, now I got 
spots. Oh girl, I look silly. Oh, now my husband's calling me. Anyway, girl, the blush is not blending. It's like stuck on my face. I don't even know why that worked. I thought that would work. So I think I'll put it on the blush. I, it always works for me when I put it on the sponge, right? And then I blend it in. So I'm gonna have to do it like that because it looks, oh. <laughs> no. Girl, it looks like somebody colored my face. I've never been that girl with makeup. Like never been that girl. But I feel like, I feel like I can make stuff work though. It's giving clown. The cheekbones are cheeking though, right? I feel like they are. I mean, come on, sis. Now I need to just go ahead and put on some bronzer because I feel like it will help push. It will make this make sense because at this point I feel like I'm looking a fool. So where a brush at? I'm gonna have to use an old dirty brush, girl. Girl, I love that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Bobbi Brown bronzer. I think the blush actually looks good, but I feel like it's a little bit too high. Like it's giving 80s. Whatever. Go ahead and, well this is like makeup that I wore on vacation. I can't remember what makeup I wore, girl. I just threw makeup on my face. I might as well just, Colored with my eyes closed because whatever I was wearing, it wasn't even cute because I was always in a rush this vacation. So. Okay, it's giving highlight. My forehead look big, girl, I got a big forehead. Come on, bruh. I always think big forehead girlies are cute. My mom got a big forehead. I got a big forehead like my mama. Mm-hmm. It's giving. It is. I don't care what nobody say. You can't tell me no different. You probably should <laughs> tell me something different, but you can't because I'm not listening. Let me tell y'all something. Before I got on this camera, I was in the dumps. I really was. But I get on this camera and I get to talking to y'all and it really, I don't know, it's so weird. It lifts my mood. I feel like I'm actually talking to y'all, but no one's talking back. So I don't know. <laughs> but I feel like y'all on the other side. Say, hey girl, we talking and going back and forth. If you are, just leave whatever you saying to me in the comments <laughs> down below. So I really do appreciate y'all. Like truly, oh, we hit 85K like <laughs> on the way back from vacation. And I was like sick that day. So I couldn't toast, I couldn't drink or anything. But I was like, oh my God, like I, just, I was just so excited. I'm so grateful for y'all. Like I couldn't even live out my dreams without y'all y'all support so i truly appreciate y'all like this is like 30s has been so great because of my support system and all of that and i have an amazing husband my family everyone i care and love for i am so grateful that i'm surrounded by amazing people my friends but also it is great because of y'all and i consider y'all like literally a part of my life so even when i'm down with it feels so weird to be down to have and be grateful at the same time but girl that's me <laughs> i'd be down and like oh my god i'm so happy and so grateful i'll be grateful and like sad i'm gonna use um a little bit more blush i probably shouldn't do this but whatever i'm gonna use grinding to set the blush can you set blush well i am because i can some on the nose and i love putting blush on the nose somebody said it makes my nose look broken a while ago and it probably do but girl it's giving very much you know what i'm saying <laughs> i don't know what this is i want to put on some highlighter i'm gonna use my y'all know i love lip bar is that my husband let me hazel the dough that's my man my man oh i gotta do my eyebrows okay do i have an eyebrow pencil in here eyebrow like empty eyebrow pencils like i don't even know why i keep oh is this a full one <gasps> i've had this the whole time oh no it's not let me go get an eyebrow pencil so i'm gonna use the nyx um micro brow pencil you already know this girl i already put on um a brow pencil from lip bar so i'm just going over it a brow pencil and gel combo it's not really my favorite because it's too thick and i ain't got eyebrows like that to have a thick 
eyebrow like it, it starts to look weird i need a micro brow pencil because i got a i got micro brows <laughs> you know what i'm saying skinny brows the girls are having skinny brows then it's in then brows are in and that's what i got girl i'm about to be that girl but i still like mine pretty thick so I need to get that drool under control. One thing about that lip bar brow gel is that it's not, your brows are not going to move. Like they're not moving. They are in place, friend. So this is the brow gel. Where's the lip bar brow gel hat? It's a two-sided moment. Here it is. So I'll leave it down below. I'll leave everything I use down below. So the highlighter I'm gonna use is lip bar as well. Like I was saying, it is the champagne um, highlighter. And I'm just gonna take my, I like to use a sponge and just apply it. I'm gonna apply it on the high points of the cheeks. It's like a pinkish one. It gets a pinkish color, but it comes out so pretty. Put some at the tip of the nose, like so. Highlighter is coming back. It went away for a while. Like I wasn't using highlighter for a long time, but I feel like the girls are getting back into their highlighter vibes and I'm here for it, especially for spring. Hopefully this shows up because I feel like it's not right now, but maybe after my skin melts, like it'll show up. This would be a good go-to like date night look so I don't have to do so much makeup because I don't know what it is about date night. I feel like more makeup is better when I think it's the opposite. <laughs> Truly do, but I will put on five layers, girl. Five layers, like five layer cake. It's giving very much Publix, bakery, okay. Take some um, Too Faced BTS mascara. This is like my travel mascara that I keep in my travel bag. At this point, I'm actually using my travel bag right now. I'm not unpacking it because we're going somewhere again, <laughs> per. I'm just gonna apply it and then after this, we're gonna do the lips. And then we're done. It's giving me very much doll baby, and I think I'm here for it. This feels like a tightrope walk, putting on lower lash mascara. Oh my god. No, this is a NYX Lime Lyle Rebel Kind Lip Liner. It's a perfect brown for me. Like, it's kind of reddish. It's kind of cool. And I can overline my lips, like, and the girls won't really know. Now, with my Mon lip pencil, it'd be like, girl. We can see it, okay. I try not to line outside the corners because I don't wanna look like Khloe Kardashian because that's what she be doing. I be like, girl, we can see that. I don't like it. And this is the NYX Lingerie Cabaret Show. I just like how it looks. It's like a good lip combo and I um, prep my lips with my favorite um, lip balm and that's the Laneige Lip Balm. Okay, so I'm gonna use my favorite lip gloss. This lip gloss burns my lips. It is a torture chamber, but I love using it. It is the um, Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Gloss in the color Pink, pink Punch. And I love it because it's so pink and it brings light, life to my lips. Like just the bright pinkness of it. Mmm. It changes like the lip color for the better, you know? And it still gives 90s. Like, what are we talking about? I love it. Okay, so I think my mascara is dry and I can um, spray down the face and set this makeup and see what she gives. Let's see. Because I feel like this look is cute. I'm really liking the high. I used to put my blush right here on the front of the cheeks, but high, it does bring the face upward. So, oh, my lips are burning. Mm. Oh, it's soothing. <laughs> Ooh, okay, let me let this settle in. Let me go get some earrings while this sets. I think I'm gonna put a couple more sprays. And this is the only um, setting spray that doesn't break me out either. I need to figure out what that ingredient is. Like, that doesn't give me like those little, tiny little chill bumps. They're so small, you can't even tell. But it's like, te it adds texture to my skin. It's like the weirdest thing. Anyways, let me go get my earrings. So this can be a completed look. And then we can, I can get up out of here because I'm about to have a sneeze attack. So this is a finished look. No foundation. It feels 
very light, but it looks full coverage. Like, I love this look. I didn't have to put on foundation. All I did was, I don't even gonna say a little bit of concealer. I did concealer, just, it's really simple. I love it. And the hair is simple as well, girl. This is like a good vacation look. Like this is paying homage to my vacation type. Y'all tell me what you think about this look down below. I love how the face is giving, like the makeup is looking, like it looks amazing. And as far as the wig, I said this at the beginning, I absolutely love it. I, I wish I had this wig on vacation because it's perfect. It looks so good. And I also could, like you really could, well not, my edges is thin, so let me <laughs> relax, pull it back like this and you still like it looks like my hair that's crazy because my hair is out like a little bit right here just to you know give a little bit of room ru ru realness you know what i'm saying and i didn't have to touch my hair because the roots are already kinky up here like it's insane but well the sponsorship part is over so i don't even know why i'm still ra ranting and raving on this week but i absolutely love it anyways y'all tell me what you think about everything down below i love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Oh wait, I didn't tell y'all, I put on just some Amazon earrings in the same nine West watch. So I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.